King Kong is directed by Peter Jackson. This is an action-adventure drama film. King Kong stars Naomi Watts as Anne Darrow, Jack Black as Carl Denham, Adrian Brody as Jack Driscoll, Colin Hanks as Preston, Jamie Bell as Jimmy, Evan Park as Mr. Hayes, Kyle Chandler as Bruce Baxter, Thomas Kretschmann as Captain Inglehorn, and Andy Serkis as Kong. This film is rated PG-13 for frightening adventure violence and some disturbing images. This is not a movie for young children. This movie might give a child nightmares at night with some of the scenes that take place on the island. I would say probably 15 years of age and older, nothing below that. This film has a runtime of three hours and seven minutes. King Kong was released in theaters in the United States on Wednesday, December 14th, 2005. After coming into possession of a map that leads to an island that no one has discovered yet, greedy film producer Carl Denham assembles a team of filmmakers on board a ship of a crew who captures live animals. Along with them is Carl Denham's two stars, Bruce Baxter and the beautiful Broadway stage actress, Anne Darrow. The film crew and ship crew then set out for the mysterious forbidden Skull Island. They make it to the island, only soon they realize it is a place they never should have come to. They not only encounter a tribe of cannibalistic natives, they also encounter the giant gorilla named Kong, who is pretty much king of the island. The natives kidnap Anne and use her as a sacrifice to Kong. The members of the ship's crew and the film crew set out on the island to rescue Anne. Only Denim has other plans that involve Kong. That's the synopsis of the story without giving anything away if you haven't seen it. Here are my negatives for the film. The only negative thing I have to say about this film is there are a few pacing issues here and there where the film drags out too much, but for the most part, the pacing is great. Now let's talk about my positives for the film. The use of CGI effects along with practical effects and motion capture all blended together make this film look absolutely real and absolutely stunning. The use of models and miniatures work great in the film as well along with the other effects. I love the fact that this could be considered a period piece because it takes place in the year 1933. The look of this film takes several transitions regarding the look, such as the use of grays and blacks and dim lighting used for the 1933 Great Depression ravaged New York City, as well as on the boat headed to the island. Then the film transitions into the interior of the island with the beautiful brighter colors, lots of greens, reds, blues, oranges, and yellows. Then this film transitions back to New York City and the end sequence on top of the Empire State Building, looking over the city at the sunrise, which we see yellows, reds, and oranges mixed with a little bluish and purple. I mean, it's just breathtaking, absolutely stunning. The, the color of this film, or the colors of this film, wow, they were utilized great. The story is very strong and very easy to follow. It's sort of a Beauty and the Beast forbidden tragic love story that encompasses action, emotion, and drama as well. The acting in this film is really, really good. There are a few moments where it is awful, but for the most part, it's top-notch acting. This is one of Jack Black's more serious roles, and if you guys are familiar with Jack Black, he's mainly known for comedy roles and such, so this was one of his first serious roles, and he did a good job. The score for the film is awesome and brilliant, something very memorable, lovely, and ominous as well. The score is composed and conducted by James Newton Howard. Okay, those are all of my positives. Now, it's grading time. I'm going to give the 2005 Peter Jackson film King Kong an A-. minus. This is one movie that I saw in theaters, and I'm so glad I did. It was worth the money seeing it on the giant screen. I also own this film on DVD. If you are a King Kong fan, this is a film you definitely need to see. It's a long film, but once it gets going, it doesn't feel like it's that long at all. I mean, it's just, you know, just you, you start and then, you know, it just goes. It doesn't let up at all. That's my review for this film. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Good night. God bless. I love all of you, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.